Namaste, welcome back to our English class. Guys, today we are going to discuss an interesting poem, The Rebel, written by D.J. Enright. And this poem is all about how the rebels contradict everything the other people do. They even contradict themselves. I think you also have friends like that, right? Yes. So guys, I'll read this poem and give you line by line explanation. And what you people want to do is just go through the line and try to understand the poem. So shall we start? Yes. The Rebel by DJ Enright. When everybody has short hair, the rebel lets his hair grow long. When everybody has long hair, the rebel cuts his hair short. When everybody talks during the lesson, the rebel doesn't say a word. When nobody talks during the lesson, the rebel creates a disturbance. When everybody wears a uniform, the rebel dresses in fantastic clothes. When everybody wears fantastic clothes, the rebel dresses over. In the company of dog lovers, the rebel expresses a preference for cats. And in the company of cat lovers, the rebel puts in a good word for dogs. When everybody is praised in the sun, the rebel remarks on the need of rain. When everybody is greeting the rain, the rebel regrets the absence of sun. When everybody goes to the meeting, the rebel stays at home and reads a book. When everybody stays at home and reads a book, the rebel goes to the meeting. When everybody says, yes, please, the rebel says, no, thank you. When everybody says, no, thank you, the rebel says, yes, please. And it is very good that we have rebels. You may not find it very good to be one. Yes, guys, this is the poem. And I'll read this poem again and give you line by line explanation. So let's see. When everybody has short hair, the rebel lets his hair grow long. When everybody has long hair, the rebel cuts his hair short. See, he wants to do the opposite of everything. Right? Yes. When the short hair is in fashion, he wished to have long hair. When everybody wears a long hair, he wished to have a short hair. That's why we call him a rebel. Then, when everybody talks during the lesson, the rebel doesn't say a word. And when nobody talks during the lesson, the rebel creates a disturbance. Yes. In a classroom, when every student uh, wish to talk each other or they engage in, the con in their conversation, our rebel wish to be in silence. And when other students are engaged in their studies or they are concentrating in their studies, our rebel uh, creates some disturbance or he wish to uh, talk in that time. That's why we call him a rebel. Right? Yes. Then, and when everybody wears a uniform, the rebel dresses a fantastic clothes. When everybody wears fantastic clothes, the rebel dresses soberly. Yes, when the other children wear uniform to school, our rebel wish to wear a fantastic clothes. That means a party wear or color dress. But in school functions like uh, annual day or such a programs, the other students wear uh, fantastic clothes or color dress, our rebel wear uniform. So he just want to do the opposite of everything. Next, in the company of dog lovers, the rebel expresses a preference for cats. In the company of cat lovers, the rebel puts in a good word for dogs. That means the rebel claims to prefer 
cat whenever the people talk about a dog. That means in a meeting, uh, some other students talk about uh, cats, the qualities of a cat. Our rebel choose dog. And when other students wish to talk about the qualities of dog, our rebel talks about cat, the qualities of cat. So he wants to do opposite of everything. Then, when everybody is praising the sun, the rebel remarks on the need of rain. And when everybody is greeting the rain, the rebel regrets the absence of sun. So, whenever the students or whenever the people uh, wish to have summer season, and our rebel wants winter season, and whenever the other students or other people wish to have uh, winter season, our rebel wants uh, summer. So that's why we call him a rebel. Then when everybody goes to the meeting, the rebel stays at home and reads a book. When everybody stays at home and reads a book, the rebel goes to the meeting. When everybody goes to the meeting or go to, uh, goes to meeting, our rebel wish to be in home and uh, read books or he spends time to read books but when other students uh, stay at home and read books our rebel wants to uh, go to meeting so that's the difference that's the difference between the rebel and the normal people then when everybody stays at home and reads a book the rebel goes to the meeting when everybody says yes please the rebel says no thank you and when everybody says no thank you the rebel says yes please that means when uh, other students or other people accept something our rebel wish to refuse it and whenever the other students uh, refuse something our uh, rebel wish to accept it so that's the difference that's the difference between the rebel and the normal students yes then the last two lines is very important it is very good that we have rebels. You may not find it very good to be one. Yes, what that two line means. Guys, through that line, our poet tries to convey a message to us. So, it is very good that we have rebels. It doesn't mean that you people should have rebel or you people should be a rebel. It says that it is good to be different or it is good to be a unique person you should be different you should be different from others then only uh, you can create something okay you should think differently it should pave the way for some creation our poet tries to convey this message through the last line so look at that it is very good that we have rebels you may not find it very good to be one so you should be unique you should be different from others. It should pave the way for some creation or it creates some difference in the society. That is what our DJ Enright want to convey. So guys, I hope you all understood this part uh, very well. So thank you guys. See you in the next class.